Hello, Southwest Park Virtual Academy students and parents. Welcome to the first day of school. I'm so excited to be your teacher. And this video is to just help all of us get started. Now, students, what I'm going to show you in this video, if you've used Google Classroom and Clever and all of our programs before, you're going to, you could probably handle this all on your own. Uh, but please let your parents watch it because they need to know what's going on too. Um, just in case you have any sort of trouble. Um, for the younger students, parents, this video is really for you. We all know that you'll be the one that will be probably, at least in the beginning, connecting. Um, most of the things we're going to take care of during the first week are going to need extra guidance from you, just trying to get everything done. As we get into next week and real lessons start, <clears throat> those lessons will be much more kindergarten, first grade friendly than what you're seeing getting posted this week. This week is mostly universal things, K to eight. Um, so it'll be kind of parent heavy in the beginning. So just wanted to put that out there right from the beginning. So let's start. Um, quick introduction of me. I'm Mrs. Porter. I've been around Southwest Park for a long time, long enough that when I look at my spreadsheet of parent names for this virtual academy, I recognize a lot of you. A lot of you sat in my classroom as a student many years ago, and now I get the chance of having your kid in class virtually. That makes me really old. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but a lot of your students maybe have seen me in the buildings um, at Montezuma Elementary, Rosedale Elementary, Riverton Park, because I train our teachers in the use of digital tools like iReady and Achieve and Studies Weekly and those kind of things. I help them know how to use those things in your classrooms. So I've been a teacher of your teacher and I'm continuing to do that. But this year I get the opportunity to offer you the Virtual Academy. Okay, so be patient with me because I am managing a lot of you over nine grade levels. So it's it's a pretty heavy load and I'm going to do my very best um, to give you a very good experience here and to keep up with everything. But um, your patience is very much appreciated. Okay, so in this video, oh, by the way, I'm going to give you a chance to introduce yourself later this week. We'll do a Google Meet and start to get to know one another a little bit better. Okay, so the remainder of this video is going to be just a quick walkthrough of what you need to do every day, like the, the routine of getting on, finding your lessons. Okay, so let me shrink myself down into the corner here. There we go. Um, so when you first log into, most of you are using a school Chromebook, and that does make things kind of easier um, because it's all set up with our stuff and ready to go. So when you put your password um, into that Chromebook, which is your student ID number, it should take you right into this page. Um, if it's the first time you've signed into that Chromebook, you might have to put your username in first, um, which is your email address, or it might just be the front part of your email address. Okay, so once you get into the Chromebook, because you just signed into Google, it should take you straight here to this Clever page, and you should be able to just click Log in with Google, and we'll do that in just a second. If you're on a personal device, you will need to actually go to clever.com first, um, and this was in an email I sent to the parents earlier this week. Um, so clever.com, you go there, and then you should be able to um, choose your school and get to this page to be able to sign in with Google. Okay, so once we click log in with Google, again, if you're on a Chromebook, it should take you right in. If you're not on a Chromebook, you'll have to enter that Google information again, um, email address, student ID number. Okay, once you get in, you should be on a page that looks roughly like this. I'm using my daughter's page as an example for you, so these are her teachers, but you'll um, see basically the same sort of things listed here. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down here to where it says Google Classroom. And you can click this little heart and that'll move that up to your favorites because you will be using Google Classroom every day. So you log into Clever and then you go to Google Classroom. The first time you go to Google Classroom, it's gonna ask for your information. Again, same Google account information. Um, but it'll hold on to that from this point forward. So it'll already be there and then you can just click go to classroom. If there are, is more than one person who has signed into Google on your device, it may ask you to confirm which account. Okay, so once we get into Google Classroom, 
If you have not already accepted it, you will have a, a purple group here that says Virtual Academy, and then it'll have your group, your grade level. Um, if you've not already accepted it, you'll have a blue button that says Join, and we're going to click that. If you've already done that step, then you can just click on the name of, of the classroom space and go right in. So we're joining the classroom space here. Okay, once you get in, the front page here is what we call the stream. So this is just like a news feed like on Facebook or Instagram or something. It's just like a feed of everything that's been posted. Might be some announcements here, but pretty much it's just telling you what I've already put into this section. So you're just gonna wanna go to classwork. And here I'm gonna lay it out as simply as I can for you. So Monday, August 10th is our first day. Um, and here are the things that you need to do. Okay, so it will always start with attendance. I do have to report your attendance to the state and I have to have some measure for that. So if you click on the attendance, it's just simply telling you to mark I am here. You'll click that and then you'll turn it in. And it's confirming, it's telling you that you haven't changed anything and you won't be able to change anything after you turn it in, but that's fine, just validate that submit it, turn it in, and that's what I will use to mark your presence for the day, okay? So you see that now that I've completed that, it's turned gray. That's how you know that it is done. Um, and I failed on my sample class here to set due dates, but yours will have due dates here, and if you don't complete it by the end of that date, um, it will start showing that it's late. That's gonna be a way to help keep you on track, okay? So then we're just going to move down the line here. The next thing in here um, is a form that I need you to fill out. This will take you a few minutes and it should be done parents and students together. This is going to give me tons of information that I need to help make sure this is a, a working and successful experience for you. Um, so I'm going to be collecting information about like what time of day you plan to work, um, what device you're using, um, just all those different things. It's also how I'm going to find out what experience you have with different digital tools that we've used here at our schools. If, have you ever used Google Docs before? You know, those kind of things so that I know how much you, in guidance you need as we use these different tools. Okay, now that's for the student. Now, little students, um, parents, you're going to kind of um, let me know how you're doing with those things because you'll be guiding your student a lot, of course. All right, so I'll need you to complete that form. Um, you can see here that if we view the assignment, you're gonna complete this form and submit it. But then once you've done that, it does ask you to mark it as done. Always mark your assignment as done, because if you don't, I don't know that you've done that step. Now, in this case, I would still get a notification that you've submitted the form, but this is gonna help both of us keep track of what you have done and what you still need to complete. So you always want to, you know, you're open this form, you're gonna fill it out, and when you're done, you can close that tab and then mark it as done. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to this classroom stream and you see we've done two things now okay so this day is mostly about getting everything set up okay I'm gonna have you check and make sure you can log into programs and let me know if you have any trouble with that I'm gonna ask you to set up a good learning environment um, at your home so that you have a good place to work I'm gonna ask you to set a schedule Okay, you don't have to stick to it perfectly, but set some sort of routine because that's going to be huge in helping you to be successful. Okay, so work your way through this and try and get all these things done at any point. Let me go back to one of these assignments. If we click on view, over on the side, there is this place for private comments. At any point, if you have any sort of trouble, just sit put a private comment in here letting me know what your difficulty you're having, what question you have, whatever. That'll be a good way for us to communicate. You can also communicate with me by email. As of right now, I don't have a great phone number to give you because I'm not always in the same location. Um, so we're working on that. I'm trying to come up with a, a number that you'll be able to use to reach me wherever I am. Okay, um, I can't give you my cell phone number because it's against policy, but also um, when I'm at Rosedale, it doesn't work. So um, 
We'll, we'll get you a number that you can call me at eventually, but for now, these private comments or email are your best ways to get a hold of me, okay? Now let me check my notes and see if there's anything else that I wanted to make sure to go over with you. I don't think so. I think that that's pretty much it. Um, but again, everything you need to do each day is in this classwork stream. Um, just showing you again that, you know, on some of these things, it's all here, but you may need to actually view the question in order to, to see everything. So don't forget to click on that. Okay, if you have any questions along the way, please let me know. There will be lots of things we need to learn together. Um, I anticipate that down the road, we're gonna need to be able to have you take a picture of something and send it to me. You might not be sure how to do that. So there'll be a lot of things that we need to work through together. But if we just remain patient and um, have good communication with one another, I think that we'll do very well. Okay, so have a great day. Try to get through Monday's list. Tomorrow we'll start working on some assessments and getting you ready to start using our programs to start learning a lot of new things. I'm very excited about this and I hope that you will not hesitate to reach out to me if you need anything.